Good morning world from our island home here in the Philippines. I am making some bread for the family because these days bread is getting pretty pricey on the island. We've been trying to save money because we are going to Japan soon and we want to have a decent budget. And sometimes decent bread here can cost between 150 and 300 pesos for a loaf. So I went to the shop and I bought some really affordable flour, only 30 pesos per bag. And I've mastered the art of no need, no rise baking. Now that's a bit of a lie actually. I do rise it, but I just don't do the whole two hours of rising thing. I put it in the air fryer at very low heat for half an hour and it seems to double in size really quickly. I guess it works like a proving oven. If this is the first video of ours you've ever seen, welcome. We're a British family that moves to the Philippines Philippines about three years ago by accident. We came here before the pandemic got stuck and fell in love with the place and decided to create a life here. We are renting a home by the coast in the middle of Shargao Island and we just really love lifestyle here. It's super laid back and chilled. The people are amazing, the landscape is amazing and it is one of our favourite places in the world. Today is gonna to be a typical home day. This is gonna be our routine, what we normally do when we are not out and about exploring or all the crazy stuff that vloggers usually show. While the bread is rising in there, I'll check in on the girls. Can I come in? Story is doing some homeschooling right now, aren't you? Hello, hello. Can you tell us about your project, Story? I'm finished. You finished it already? Oh, look. Let's do this outside on the table, yeah? This is okay. Oh, okay. Fun facts about Japan. And then our camper van. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't look like our camper van, but Tokyo is the biggest city in the world. <laughs> Japanese live the longest lives. Old granny. <laughs> Wasabi is a very hot, famous plant from Japan. Mm. Wasabi. Who likes wasabi? You. Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Mount Fuji is an active volcano. It's 12,000 feet tall. Fuji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Japanese macaques are known as snow monkeys because they are the only monkeys that live in snowy places. Macaque. Manga is a famous Japanese comics and anime are films. Nice. Anime, look at that anime. <laughs> are you excited about our trip to Japan? Of course. <laughs> yes, that's why you're doing Japanese lessons today. Story's already done her Japanese learning, language learning already, haven't you, Story? A giant mm -hmm. book. Yes, we've got a giant a map. map of Japan. We've just been showing where we're going to be going. Nice. About here to here, like this big chunk in the middle. We're going to be driving <laughs> a long way, aren't we? Long, long, long way. Right, so, so while Jay's bread is doing its thang, this morning I made vegan cheese. Vegan cheese. Yes, yeah, I super, did. Super, super, super. Tasty. Yes. I love, it. I love it. We all love it. This is actually just a, a basic vegan cheese. Normally when I make this, I do a smoked version, which we have liquid smoke for, but it actually ran out on my last batch of cheese. So this one is just a normal vegan cheddar cheese. I was thinking yeah. that for anyone vegan that watches our vlogs, yeah. you could make a recipe of how to do it like this. I will, exactly, so, yeah. So, so all the vegans that watch the videos yes. could could try making this yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy cheese. So I will tell you what goes into it. So when actually when Jay's mum was here recently, I made this quite a few times, didn't we, when Papa she was loved here? It, didn't she, she loved it, yes. And I wrote down the recipe. I actually she got it from it. A, a blog called Hidden Veggies, which we can link down below in the description there's quite a few different cheese recipes on there it's also where i got the smoked cheese from as well a lot of vegan cheese recipes that you do see online have cashews in it which make it quite expensive to make and it takes longer this is such a quick and easy cheese to do it's unbelievable the first yes. time i found this recipe i didn't believe that it would actually work and it does you need 400 mils of coconut milk half a cup of nutritional yeast. We absolutely love this stuff. We put it in everything. <laughs> it is great. <laughs> and you need some spices. Yeah, literally. You can make it however you want, as long as it's vegan cheese. Yeah, I know, you love it, don't you? Yeah, and look, you've got shapes over there. Yeah, that's for later. Yeah, I know. The main thing that you need to put this cheese together is agar agar powder, and it won't work without it. This is what makes it kind of turn into a cheese texture. So this is a key ingredient to making this. Flavorings are smoked paprika, 
onion powder and turmeric, which I think just gives a little bit of colour to the cheese and makes it actually look a bit cheesy rather than just being like a white block. Yeah, the yeah. turmeric adds a little bit of a cheesy colour. Yeah, and it makes it look a bit more cartoony cheese. So, I mean, like, yellow. <laughs> more like cartoon yellow cheese. So as I said, it's really simple. You just put it all in a saucepan and whisk it. And that is it. You need to whisk it for, you bring it to the boil and then you need to whisk it for about six minutes constantly because it does harden up really quickly. And then once the six minutes is up, you pour it into a suitable container. You let it cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes, put it in the fridge for an hour or two and it's done, it's ready. This actually needs a little bit longer in the fridge. So while Joe's bread is cooking, we're gonna leave it in the fridge until the bread is ready. And then that is gonna be our lunch today. All right, I'm now ready. we are ready. It is now baking time. Yeah, it's what are we so making. Welcome to the Shargal Bakers. The <laughs> Shargal Bakers, <laughs> okay. Shargal Bakers. We're gonna make some cookies. I searched for ages last night to find a biscuit recipe, a vegan biscuit recipe that we can use cookie cutters with. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think we could use that massive heart, couldn't we? Yeah. So if you haven't guessed already, we are vegan, <laughs> which means we don't eat any dairy products, milk, eggs, butter, or anything like that, or meat products, obviously. But when making cookies like this or biscuits, it is quite difficult to find a decent recipe that doesn't use butter or a vegan butter, which obviously living on this island here, we cannot get vegan butter. So I found a recipe which uses oil instead. I haven't tried it before. This is going to be the first time trying it out. So let's see how it goes. So has got her baking buddy with her as yes. well. Always with a soft toy. <laughs> I love soft toys. You do. Well. Yes. All right. Do you want to be head baker? Yeah. What's this? Flour. Yeah. I can read. Two cups of flour, please. Teaspoon of baking powder. Ooh. Warning, you really need to mix yeah, this level, in. Level it off. You really need to you know you mix this in good. Use your finger. Oh. It like fell down as a semicircle and then it just plonked. <laughs> lightly floured surface. Now do it properly, make it like cover the surface. This is the biscuit dough. It's still a bit crumbly, but we're gonna go with it. So the wet ingredients in the dough is were oil, oil milk, and syrup. syrup. And syrup, yes. Thank you, Story. The dry ingredients in this, we told you, you need to roll it out into a quarter inch thick. That is way, 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 way too thick. Yeah. You need a quarter inch. Yeah, using your whole arm. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep crushing my fingers, look. So if you don't know already, our house runs on solar power. So we've got both of these ovens going at the same time. And it should be all powered by the sun right now. Let's check. Uh, quite almost, almost. We're generating almost three kilowatts, but we're using three and a half at the moment. You can see that we're actually using zero grid power because the rest of it's coming from the battery. It's worth noting there's also two air conditioners on at the moment and two ovens, so that's pretty impressive. Definitely one of the best things we ever bought. Look at this, this is going well, isn't it? Yeah, look at this chick. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's so cute. Well, I'm feeling a bit left out at the moment because I don't have hands to bake cookies. That's why I've got sad face on. I am wondering if there's going to be any cookies for me. In the meantime, I'm going to do the shout out for today, which goes to N Placence. Oh, N Placence, thanks for becoming a member of our channel. If you're interested in becoming a member again to the shout out, hit the join button. It's under the videos. Bye. We've actually got the laundry drying in the house today. You might be wondering why would we bother to dry laundry in the house when the sun is shining? 
actually dries quicker in the air conditioning than it does in the sun for some reason. Probably something to do with the humidity out there. It's the first time in a long time I've really seen the benefit of using the oven instead of the air fryer. You could yeah. never fit all those in, could you? No, you'd fit maybe six in at a time. <laughs> no, this is 25. 25 no. cookies you've made, yeah? One, two, three, 24, 25. Mm, nice, that's a lot of cookies to eat. Oh, you feeling tired? No, that was just an itchy eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. I right? know it's true, you're you never tired, put, are you? Are you going to put them in the oven? All the way in. Push it in. That's it, good. <laughs> Door up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and I think it's about 10 minutes. It's quite quick. You'll stay in there and get burnt. Get nice and golden brown, that's what we're looking for. Alright, now head chef story, you've got to do the clean up now. <laughs> what do you think about that? Okay. There's my loaf of bread looking very good and the cookies have already come out as well. They're just on the verge of going too brown, what do you reckon? They're in there for exactly 10 minutes, so... Decent oven then. Yeah. So we have to wait for them to completely cool before we can eat. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Gonna do some language learning while we wait. America to Kare, kore to sore. Which hand? This one. Oh, I was right. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, I just guessed. Get away. There's only two choices. Or B. Copy. It's not yeah. your biscuit. Okay. Oh, then give us a biscuit review. How did your biscuits turn out? <laughs> See how the bread turned out? It's not actually completely cool yet. I felt it. Good sound. Oh! I can see so crispy and stuff. Oh, look at steam. Nice. Wow. Oh, that's a good loaf, Daddy. Well done. Very good, didn't it? Oh, yum. Is it? Touch it inside. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, it's really hot. <laughs> and here is my finished cheese. Just tipped it out of the dish here. Straight onto the plate. It smells so good. And we're very hungry now. It's been a family baking morning. Bread from Jay, cheese from me, cookies from Story. So we double teamed on the cookies, but we're all quite hungry now. This is our lunch, so we're going to enjoy it. At least twice a day, we like to take Poppy out for a nice beach walk. It is lovely and cool in the mornings and sometimes in the evenings if it's not sunny. So on an overcast day like this, when there's a bit of grey in the sky, it's actually perfect. It feels wonderful today. This is like the fall season for us. <laughs> we don't really get seasons here in the Philippines. It's just kind of like hot, 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 windy, a bit rainy. And most of the rest of it is just tide affected, like we said in the video that we made just before. But that is pretty much our routine on a day-to-day basis when we're not traveling we live so far away from the main towns right in the middle of the island that it's nice to stay at home and just do regular things like this and obviously we cook every day we don't always show what we're making yeah. and uh thank you to smcs one of our members who suggested that we show a little bit more of our cooking routine <laughs> it was the inspiration behind today's video yeah. and we always try and get out before dinner on a puppy walk before it gets dark and it's lovely and cool right now as well so we can have a nice long beach walk puppy gets a nice big exercise yeah when it's sunny we're normally back indoors within 20 minutes yeah. but if not we'd be out for like 45 maybe yeah. walk all the way down to the end of the beach and back and it takes close to an hour yeah. which is really nice it's pretty amazing how this can be our day-to-day -day life at the age that we're at now we're not even in our 40s yet <laughs> and it kind of resembles a retired life even though we do work in between, obviously we make videos and we have a lot of like admin stuff to do. The majority of our day will look like this. So we're probably gonna have something tofu based for dinner. I think we've got some vegan kimchi that we bought from Beach Baby Cafe. We have, yeah. Kimchi, some rice and some salt and pepper tofu, I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, we won't show that though. I think we've shown enough cooking in today's yeah. video. And for work, we'll probably edit some videos and plan out the videos for the Japan trip, which is coming up. We still have a lot to plan for Japan, so I think that'll be the activity for this evening. <laughs> and then we'll put Story to bed. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.